Hey guys, it's Michael at The Growing Place again. Um, we, you know, we love to do classes and fun little activities for you guys to come in and do well. You know, probably not the safest idea to encourage a lot of people to come and, you know, do classes on site where we're in a small room together and breathing all the same air. So, what we came up with instead is some take-home kits. This is the first of several I'm sure we'll do. Um, this one today I'm working on is an herb planter. I have 10 of these cedar window box kits for you. Um, and uh, they come all pre-cut up and pre-drilled with the holes already done for you. So even if you don't have a power screw screwdriver like I'm gonna use today to assemble, uh, you'll be able to do that. Um, we'll have a link underneath this video that you can follow to pre-order one of these kits. Um, I have a limited number of them right now. Um, and if we sell a lot, I may end up uh, having to substitute the herb packages that are in them. But for now, uh, uh, for today's example, uh, we have rosemary, cilantro, thyme, and some basil. So those are some of the most popular herbs. Um, and this little planter is designed to be a little window box planter. Um, you can keep it outside if you want to, or you can keep it inside in a sunny window. All the herbs do like a sunny location, so that's where you'll want to keep them. Um, so, anyway, that's what we're going to do. And uh, you can follow the link on, on, down below to, uh, to purchase one of these kits. Uh, you can pick it up uh, curbside if you would like to, um, and then you don't have to have any contact. And uh, we'll do the, the, the kits are all at our Aurora location um, where we can pick them up uh, where we've done the curbside all year so far. You can pick these up regular too if you wanted to come in. Uh, you'll just have to ask one of the employees uh, to get one for you. And we'll package it up. The kit will come with soil, uh, screws, uh, the cedar pre-cut up and pre-drilled, and four herbs for to fill the container with. So. Uh, I guess that's that and I'll get started on uh, demonstrating how to put these together um, Because they are pre-drilled you will not need a power screwdriver um, The only thing you will need is a screwdriver with a little square tip on it um, And I'll put this little tip out there. So that's a number two square tip uh, and that will drill the screws in there um, And so you can use one of those little tips in a regular screwdriver if it takes the different tips on it um, or if you just have a little square tip screwdriver um, just till, drilling them in by hand will be easy enough uh, the reason you'll need the little square tip is for the decorative black screws that we have for you that's what they came with or that's what the kit comes with because we like the look of it um, so that little screw like that um, and then they look like this against the cedar so that was the look we were going for um, and so we wanted to make sure that uh, you can do that. So that's the only required equipment that you'll need. Everything else will come with the kit for you. Um, when I do my example here today, I pre-drill these for the wrong side. So I'm gonna be using the wrong screws, but nonetheless, uh, we'll get those kits for you there. Um, uh, one of the employees, Josh, made these for us. So to be perfectly honest, I haven't put one together yet. So we're doing that together. Um, nothing like the teacher not prepping for class. Um, we have two boards with the additional holes along the bottoms. That's going to be my two side pieces, just like so. And then we have the one with the pre-drilled holes along the edges. That's going to be my bottom. And then we have two side panels. Looks like they line up like this. All the cedar, the rough side of the cedar is out because that's the beauty of cedar. You get that rough sawn side. Um, they're gonna go like that. And then we just have a little bit of extra for a little bit of extra depth in the planter. So we got those. It's gonna go together just like that. I'm gonna assemble it now. I'll try and talk you through it. Let's see how this goes. See what I can do. Start with this guy. Josh did a beautiful job of lining these all up. So if your screw does not, the screw hole does not line up perfectly, that means I might have it on the wrong side. So we're gonna check this out. So 
hopefully my screw goes in the hole in the right spot and then I know I'm on the right side. This one looks like I might not be on the right side because he had it nice and flush. So let's check it out on this one. Feels better already. So we're just gonna assemble that real quick. Little guy like that. You don't want to sink your screw heads in too deep. Um, the screws that they actually come with are flat, so they won't drill themselves in too deep. You don't have to worry about that too much. Um, in my instance, uh, these are deck screws, so they do suck in a little bit more. That doesn't line up, so let's trade boards. Let's check this one out. Right here. Looks much better. All right. Screw in the hole. So once you pick up your kit, you come back to the video and watch it to do the assembly, which is what we're doing now. If you're still watching the video and you don't have one of the kits, then hi. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me. All right, so. Flip this over as my holes don't line up. There they go. That's gonna line them up better. Like I said, it's just a little bit of a puzzle game. Just lining up the holes. Lost the screw there. My wife would tell you I have a screw loose, so you know, <laughs> works out well. So, thing about wood containers, they're beautiful. They are not watertight. So, if you do have this on your windowsill in your in your house, um, you may want to uh, put a piece of foil underneath it or a cookie sheet, something with a little bit of an edge, so that you can use it as a tray uh, when you water. Um, once it once it's done draining, or you can just move it into the sink to water it. Once it's done draining, you can put it right back on the windowsill and not have to worry too much. Uh, depends on how big the herbs are and how sunny your window is, or if it's outside, how often you'll need to water it. That will be something you'll have to learn uh, what the right method or what the right amount is for your individual situation. But for the most part, should be every couple days. Maybe uh, once a week if you're more inside and more protected. Next, I'm going to be filling it with soil and then planting the plants in it. And then once we're done, of course, you water it. That's important too. These are all herbs that you can grow as organically as you like. Uh, the herbs will be uh, pretty good on their own. If you do need to give them a little bit of supplemental fertilizer, we have our Biotone line, which is an organic line that keeps everything nice. Uh, we have both liquids and granulars in the fertilizer. Um, for the herbs, I would recommend the Grow Tone. Um, that's great for the vegetable gardens and the herbs. Um, so we need some soil in here. I just so happen to have a big red bucket of soil. Uh, your kit will also come with soil, um, but it'll probably be one of our little white bags there. I like to make a mess, so I'm just gonna pour it in here. All right, probably a little too full, but that's okay. We got our soil in our box. Time for the herbs. Like we talked about, I have some basils. This is the Greek columnar basil. Um, that one gets a little bit more of a woody stem, um, but uh, so the leaves are are extremely flavor, flavor flavorful and uh, again we'll probably tear the roots apart but I'm gonna just try and tuck it in the soil first because I don't want uh, the root ball to fall too far apart because it's uh, not overly rooted so I'm just kind of tear the one side tear the back side uh, stuff some soil in there and we should be good to go there's a basil easy right 
rosemary. This is barbecue rosemary. Uh, this one has nice hearty stems that you can actually throw right on the grill um, uh, to help uh, flavor or smoke uh, your, your grilling. We're gonna space them out just a little bit, give them some nice area for their own area because they're gonna grow. That's how these do it. Um, like I said, you can keep this inside and still keep harvesting fresh herbs all winter. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I might take the example home with me. How about that? <laughs> all right, cilantro. Everybody likes cilantro, right? Good for all those salsas and pico de gallo, guacamole. I'm a big taco fan, so it goes well. Got some cilantro in there. Again, I didn't spend a lot of time tearing the roots apart on the cilantro. It is, uh, it was pretty, it was not too rooty. This one is very rooty. This is thyme. Uh, it is the lemon creeping thyme, uh, which will kind of hang over the box a little bit too. Um, if you wanted to see more of those nails, you could keep the lemon thyme in the middle and then you'll see more of the nail heads, the screw heads on the screws um, from putting the box together. If you kept it more in the middle, did more of the tall things on the outside. Melissa, line one, please. Melissa, line one. Um, so, because this, the thyme is a lot more uh, sturdy, a lot more rooted in the soil, I'm gonna go ahead and just pull that apart out of the soil where I can show you what I'm doing a little bit more. So there, I kinda just went around the sides and split all the roots apart. Um, so now we can make our little spot for our lemon thyme to go in our box. A little bit of top dressing there, just like so. Maybe another little bit right here in between the rosemary and the basil. So you can put these in in any order you'd like um, in the box. That's not too particular. Like I said, the thyme will kind of spill over. So if you want to keep the, the look of the nail heads on there, then you would kind of keep that more towards the middle. Um, other than that, pretty, pretty simple, right? I made that look fun, hopefully anyway. You guys, thanks for joining us on this, our pilot adventure of uh, take home classes. Um, but uh, if you have any questions, call into the store. We're happy to talk to you anytime. Thanks. Bye, guys.